Hey there, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use ordinate dimensions. Let's begin by creating a drawing. Now let's drag in the top view. And let's accept this projected view. So first of all, let's take a moment to explain what the heck ordinate dimensions are. Ordinate dimensions are a set of dimensions that measure from a zero ordinate. So each subsequent dimension will measure from one first point that you specify. As I place the ordinate dimensions for these sets of circles, everything will become more clear. So when we right click and go to more dimensions, we see a few types of ordinate dimensions, horizontal, vertical. Let's select horizontal first. I'll select this point, so that's my zero ordinate. Everything will measure from that point. There's my first dimension. And as I continue selecting, I place subsequent dimensions. And just a few more. And let's click OK to accept our work. After we've finished, we can easily reposition the ordinate dimension by dragging and dropping it. The vertical ordinate dimension works in exactly the same way. They just measure the vertical dimension instead. So let's select that now. Here's our zero ordinate point. Let's place it out there. Now place our first dimension, the second, the fourth. Notice I skipped one. I did that on purpose. And let's select the last circle. And let's click Accept. So what do we do about the circle that I missed? If you need to add a dimension to your ordinate dimension set, in our case the vertical ordinate dimension set, what you do is select the dimension, any dimension in the ordinate set, and right click, select add to ordinate, and all we do is select the missing circle, voila, here is our dimension. Let's click OK. Once again, now that we're finished, we can easily reposition them if we need to. And this concludes our video about working with ordinate dimensions. 